Okay, pattern recognition training. In-game pattern recognition training. So as usual, just developing the night. Just sticking with what you're familiar with. So the opponent's kind of doing a reversal of this type of opening. So we always tend to try and meet the pawn in the center, try and manage the center, try and obliterate the center. So they're playing really tentative. So we would naturally just take the pawn here, looking to get the queens off the board. So happy and comfortable with this pattern, this, this position. Let's just take the queen. Does the king not want to castle? They're thinking about it if they take there when we win the we win the pawn so we're going to attack this pawn and this is that pattern area that we don't really like but i'm actually going to take the pawn on this occasion i know this pawn's going so i could have developed my knight to do support but i'm not interested in that today so i'm going to bring the bishop back now attacking both knights this one's got no protection this one's protected so you would expect this knight to just move back to attack the bishop we would then at least get to double the pawns which is a little bit of a weakness coming in towards the end game so smallest of details now this pawn is not protected so we can take this pawn off the board there's a fork here, so there's going to prevent in that by the bishop coming here. Pawn here, that's free. So which one do they want? Do they want to be not getting the fork or do they want to just let this pawn go? Do they just move the king? Do they move the king? Can't move the king here. So there's some type of benefits for us at this moment in time. Negatives are pieces aren't developed at the moment but we seem to have created a bit of chaos, a bit of carnage in the early part of the game, just from our own understanding of the pattern recognition. So the bishop does come, so we're going to take and put a check on the king, come back down, attack the bishop. I know it's a lot of work for the bishop, but at this moment, it looks fairly favorable for us positionally. Advantages, they're, get, they're getting their pieces out and let's attack the bishop again giving them something to think about whilst we try and get our feet under the table get castled because now they've got all that space you know and that's um a key thing let's castle they've got all the space to maneuver around going to give me things to think about trying to make me not get in the game all sorts of things so yeah, exactly, exact move. So we can attack the pawn because it's, but we're going to get chased around. Or we can go simple and just develop. Let's just develop the pieces. I was, I was going to bring the pawn up, but I'm thinking we need to get the pieces out to fight the good fight. They're bringing the knight in and I'm going to have to bring this pawn here because there seems to be um, a bit of activity that's going to mean I'm going to lose the knight. Because I was just about to bring the knight here. If he takes, then we takes, then obviously he would get the knight. So if we bring this bishop to support, then we can bring the knight here. And he's attacking this twice, but let's... Um, Let's bring the knight and attack the knight. Continue with that process. That pattern looks fairly okay to me. It seems pretty safe, solid. It could change it and just do something totally different. I don't feel the pressure on here because we've got the bishop there. We've got the rook there. We've got the king here. So they do take. So it's a good job that we did bolster the support on this um, knight does isolate the pawn if the bishop does take but we've got support and we can bring this here always for the b pawn so the b pawn can actually attack the bishop to ask it what it's wanting to do if it does take we can take and the bishop is supporting rook is probably looking to come down to put a two on one on this pawn so we have to think about that 
So I think, is it time to move the night? It could be time to move the night because really it's going to get the pawn. We can just move the rook and support. Don't need to really get embroiled in anything. I think my pattern head is saying let's just support this pawn. We could just push this pawn just nice and steady. Could attack, but then it doubles the pawns because of the bishop. The king is on a white square. We don't have a white square bishop. There's no other weaknesses. We're really wanting to be on the on in the file. I think we can go with go with the pawn. I think going with the pawn is better, isn't it? For me, I think going with the pawn. Yeah, I'm happy with the pawn. Maybe bring the knight around if the bishop's not looking at doing anything, but. They are looking at targeting this pawn as well with their rook. So when there's no activity, maybe just bring the bishop back again. So they've blocked their pawn, their rook, sorry. So we could hit the bishop. Knee jerk reaction is to hit the bishop. Seeing as that's blocked, they've lost a bit of tempo in terms of any potential attacks. What are you doing, bishop? I don't believe this bishop wants to take this knight. I think this bishop wants to. It's hitting my rook. Why? What's all that about? So if we come here. And face this pawn and face their rook. Trying to simplify and just get the rooks off the board. We are plus two at the minute. So we're trying to keep that advantage if we can. But it's more about the position on the board, the pattern recognition we're seeing is hopefully trying to bolster our supporting advantage. So they've already got a piece under attack, which is the bishop. And like I said, I don't think they're wanting to take. I think they're wanting to get a little bit fancy. They may even bring it back here just to uh, keep the diagonal on this pawn. So they'll be sweating with anticipation that, wow, we're going to get it. So we've got the king supporting now. I'm hoping that's the psychology. Oh, they've actually moved. They've actually moved. We could jam this in, but it, the bishop can take. I think it's the knights, you know. I think it's the knights. Shall we push this pawn to then go for the bishop? Yep, yeah, let's push this pawn and go for the bishop. Keep the momentum going on that attack side. Okay, they're thinking this through, aren't they? Let's... um. Go and own this file. Well, attempt to, but the bishops are really owning it. Okay. Like we said, moving fast doesn't mean they're finding the best positions. But they're going to be trying to do their best as well. So they're attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece. We can bring our knight around, attack their bishop. The bishop can take, so we would lose a pawn, but then we would gain a pawn with the rook here. And that's the not a bad position, it's just our rook can't get to here because of this bishop. So how's that going to play out? We can take. We can move the knight. We can attack the rook. Rook comes down to attack the knight. Mm -hmm. Push the pawn supporting the knight. It's a bit of a nasty position. But I think that pattern works for me. I'm not saying it works in the game. I, you know, I don't, I'm not doing anything perfect. We're just trying to get patterns that we recognize as potentially better for us. Opponent can do all sorts of stuff just to mess everything up. But we are attacking a higher piece on the board. Doesn't attack the knight, I thought they would do. So does that improve what we were looking at? That's a different kind of take on things. Don't think we're going to take. And I've not got to treat it like it's a long play game, but um, I feel like I'm getting into this one. 
takes, bishop takes. Can't come here because of their bishop. So we're not owning this file at all. So I think we need to just continue with. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we said we were coming here though as well. But the rook is just going to bounce backwards and forwards. If we go there, are we doing anything special? No, nope. let's support the knight. That looks like a, because they're actually supporting the pawn, aren't they? That's why they've come there. That square bishop. Bishops are covering everything off. Could challenge the bishop just to see what it's wanting to do. It can hide here because it wants to keep, keep that control of this B pawn area. B, well, the B1 area. Can't come here because the rook and the bishop are covering. So he's saving the pawn. Can't come here like we said. So what's magical about this knight? Knight can come here if the bishop takes, rook takes, but it's not going to take with the bishop. Then we take the bishop off the board. But maybe they do take. Let's attack this bishop. They might not see that we're attacking this bishop. Because the knight is moving backwards. And maybe they do. And they just move it maybe to here. And what do we do from there? We can attack their bishop. Bit of a whirlwind knight trying to improve the, the pattern on the board. We're not doing... Oh, like I said, they may, might not see that the bishop's being attacked. Okay, so we'll take the bishop for free. Backward moving knights, usually sometimes it does sometimes confuse. Okay, they're going to quick now, so we need to be on our guard. Do we push past? If we take the rooks coming in, we, we can attack the rook. To see if we can get that off the board. Knight's attacking this pawn. Bishop could attack the pawn as well. But the pawn's just going to push down onto the knight. <laughs> um, I'm going to take and then just see if there's a rook exchange. No, he's going for the knight straight off. Interesting. Let's bring the knight up. Then they just look to do... Okay, let's take and attack the bishop. Support in this area here if he's coming down for the bishop. Got a bit of a check on the king. Knight's got no protection on. So if we did go up and attack the king, then his king can't come here. Maybe it can come here. We can take a pawn, but the knight is under threat. So let's take the bishop off the board. Try and reduce down any complications. Oh, if the... Oh... If we did that though, he would be there and the bishop wouldn't get that position. Oh my days, the bishop is, look, look at that. Let's put a check on the king. So one of the key things for our own pattern recognition is if we're putting checks on the king and in the end game, it's about trying to close off their escape routes because it can be quite annoying. Oh, beautiful position. Okay, bring the bishop attacking the rook. Nope. Could bring the rook here. Looking to get checks here, but are we doing ourselves in? Do we need to do that? Mm hmm. Oh, why can't that bishop just have that? Uh... Okay, time's running out. I'm going to bring the rook here and see if we can face off the king somehow. There might be some sacrifices going on. No, not yet. No, no. Probably coming here to defend the king. <laughs> exact move. Right, still on a dark square. This bishop is hun hungry for some sort of meat. Let's attack one and then come back, attack the other. 
maybe not because we'll lose this pawn, so come back and defend. Don't forget back rank mate coming off if uh, we don't sort it out. Let's just come back. Nice and steady now. Maybe get the king in. Or do we have to? Oh! Uh, knee jerk reaction is just to attack the king. It's coming for the rook here. Maybe just come here. Oh, I could come across here, couldn't we? And face off the rooks. No, we can't do that, Bishop. Yep. We said we wanted to practice not giving up pieces when we're winning. We're actually winning and we have this bad habit of giving up pieces. So pattern training. Don't give up the pieces. So we could take and um, go for an exchange. Is there a checkmate? Put a check here. There's no checkmates. But he's going to get a back ranker if we don't do this right. If we go here, rook takes, rook takes. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. I think that's a safer option. That's the safer option, dude. Nice and simple. Don't want to lose any pieces for the sake of losing pieces. And let's move the king. Because we know the back rank thing's coming. That makes me feel a lot happier. Nice steady end game. Don't need to move the king now. Let's go here. Comes down for the check. Just move the king. So we're happy. Happy, happy, happy. Good training session. It's not over, but it feels a lot more clinical, the end game now. There's, we shouldn't really be blundering the end game on this one. We're focused on not losing any pieces. Uh, do you see, this is a problem, isn't it? I'm going to put that there, and do they not lose their rook? Because the king can't come and protect. And we can just take the rook off the board, so they're probably going to resign now. Very nice game. Pattern training. The answer to chess. Very smooth.